Welcome to School Report, a glimpse into the classrooms of St. Lucie County Public Schools. School Report provides the opportunity to share with the community academic and extracurricular activities of students in our schools. And now, here is School Report. Festival today taking place at First Data Field. So happy to be here with all the people coming by, learning about the great things taking place at St. Lucie Public Schools. Our transportation department is here sharing information about Here Comes the Bus app, a great tool for parents who would like to know when their child is getting on the bus, getting off the bus, where the bus is en route. Um, a great app for everyone to download and it's free. Also, we're sharing information about some of our new magnet programs. CAST and Sam Gaines Academy STEM program. Uh, so many things taking place in St. Lucie Public Schools. We invite you to follow us on our social media or check out our homepage for more information. We're here representing Fort Pierce Central's Cobra CERT team at St. Lucie County Safety Festival. Uh, Cobra CERT is a club that we've recently developed this year that aims to teach students uh, life-saving emergency response skills such as first aid, search and rescue, disaster medical operations, radio operations to try and help the community become more prepared for disasters. Uh, today we're kind of displaying some of the gear that we have on us when we go out to do operations um, and to kind of present what Cobra CERT is to the general public. Over here we have our gear bags. Every Cobra CERT member that comes into the program um, is issued one of these guys. It's going to have uh, personal protective gear for them, so their hard hats, the headlights. We've also got a uh, traffic vest, so if we're ever assisting in traffic duty, we have our high visibility vest for that. Uh, we also have, like I said, the personal protective gear, so in the event that we're conducting a search and rescue operation and down building, we have the protection for that as well. Another big thing we're looking into is trying to get all of our members equipped with first aid kits to have tourniquets to take care of uh, severe bleeding, issues like that, as well as Narcan is another thing we're looking into for opioid overdoses, uh, if that's such a thing were to happen in the school. So we work very closely with the school resource officers at our school and our whole concept is to try and promote school security uh, better. Hi, I'm Tom Jones with the Education Foundation and we're at the annual safety festival here at First Data Field and this is a wonderful free uh, um, event for the community. 
Uh, the school district is doing a school bus tour, and the school district is also offering free popcorn to everyone. The, Ed the Education Foundation is also selling coupon books, and we're also doing a raffle for a large screen TV. So it's a great event, and uh, the school district has been a great partner with, with the Education Foundation. So come on down. Thank you very much. That's what we 
Tweakers is our reward system for all our dogs. Safe, right? Behind the tape. Uh, we got a bad guy out here. He's got a 
be dangerous looking stick in his hand. Hey, drop that stick. You can't have that around here. Put that down. You're going to hurt somebody. Put an eye out. Come on. No, I'm not going to go. Definitely. Get him. Hey, you know what? I got somebody up here to get it. I got some. Hey, K9 Black. This guy's got a stick and he won't put it down. He's scaring everybody. I don't know about that, but I'm scared. You're going to get it. He should have put the stick down.
are promoting the new magnet schools coming to St. Lucie Public Schools. We won a $12.5 million grant to implement them. And Samuel Gaines Academy of Emerging Technologies will be accepting kindergarten and sixth grade students into their new magnet school program. And it's going to be a STEM-based, project-based, coding, gaming school that's going to implement all of those technological, science-based, math-based things into the learning throughout the school. So very project-based. So it's a great opportunity for St. Lucie Public School students to have another option of school choice. And I'm here to talk about CAST, which is our Creative Arts Academy of St. Lucie, which is going to provide students who are creative performers, artists, to come and be a part of Creative Arts Academy of St. Lucie. And this is going to be dance, visual and uh, graphic arts, vocal and instrumental music, just so many different ways to um, highlight our performers and students here in St. Lucie Public Schools. And this is going to be for students in kindergarten through eighth grade. Applications are now open, so we want to really encourage people to visit stlucyschools.org and visit our student assignment page. And right there on the student assignment page, you'll be able to find the magnet application. So we want to encourage you to apply now. St. Lucie 
Smokey SWAT team is there. As I said, Smoke is deployed to provide cover for the injured deputy and his backup. Now, in addition to the St. Lucie County SWAT team, now you'll see we have SWAT medics. The sheriff's office is partnered with the St. Lucie County Fire District. We cross cross trained some of their paramedics to work with our SWAT team. They are taking care of the deputy right now and administering critical first aid at this time to the deputy who would have otherwise had to wait to get that care until this event was over. As you can see, the SWAT team is taking over and, and rescuing the hostages right now as the SWAT medics continue to take care of the injured deputy as well. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the St. Lucie County SWAT team in action along with the SWAT medics from the St. Lucie County Fire District. So we have a new bus app called Here Comes the Bus, and what it allows parents to do is you can sign up, you can get the address on our website, and uh, you only need your child's ID number, and as long as they're assigned to a bus stop, you can set up notifications where it will let you know when the bus gets within like two miles of your child's stop, so no more wondering about when is the bus coming. And uh, you can, again, you can get those notifications on your phone so you know within a couple of minutes of when the bus will arrive at the stop. Likewise, you can also in the afternoon get the same notification on the return trip so that you always know where your child's bus is. Uh, you can also see where the bus is during its route and has it made the stop at the school yet. So it's a really neat concept and uh, should give parents more peace of mind about what's going on with their students. Uh, have they missed the bus or did they make the bus stop and those kind of things.
I'm Elise Brainin, president of the St. Lucie County Reading Council, and you are looking at our book exchange here at the Literacy Fest at, in Met Stadium. We have about 10 returning authors. Uh, they're, they're here selling their books, signing their books. They are local authors, so you may or may not find them in Barnes & Noble, but you can find them in your local bookstores. So we also have an area called Read to a VIP, where our board members, principals, uh, and people like Mr. Ingersoll come out every year. They read to children, and then the children can take those books back. Next year is our 10th year, uh, and so we're hoping to make it big, and if anybody has any ideas or any suggestions, I would love to hear from you. The St. Lucie Reading Council is a council that is under the umbrella of the Florida Reading Association, under the umbrella of the International Reading Association. And what we do is we just bring literacy to schools, to the community, we uh, do outreach, we do professional development. Uh, any area of literacy we would love to be invited to, uh, or we also provide for the community and for schools. Good morning, welcome to the Family Reading Festival and Safety Presentation. We welcome you and we say good morning and welcome once again. My name is Janet Belletta. I'm here representing Mariposa Elementary School and St. Lucie District County teaching. I want to launch my book, I'm launching my book today, uh, Mermaids on a Mission to Save the Oceans. I have two previous books, The Legend of the Colombian Mermaid and The Legend of Roberto Cofresi. My books are for children ages five to 12. They're in the uh, local uh, libraries here in the county. Uh, my brand new book, Mermaids on a Mission to Save the Oceans, will be also entering the uh, contest for the International Latino Book Awards again this year, as well as the Purple Dragonfly Book Awards. Okay, I invite you to visit my website as well, janetpaletta.com where you may find free learning activities that go along with the books. And each book also includes a teacher's guide for your convenience. Thank you. ready to be done with the school year but don't forget that you need to keep reading visit lose the mess www.lucdelmes for your free activities and keep reading over the summer bilingual literature marixa martinez mejia enjoy your summer and good luck the last days of school teachers staff students Blessings. Bye. Hi, good morning, St. Lucie County. Um, my name is Susan Johnson. I am a media specialist in Broward County, as well as an author for children's books. And today I'm presenting my books. They're on sale for $10. And all my books have a different character education theme with my first character, Sophie, 
who has to persevere to get over some things and she has some friendship issues in at dance to my current character Aiden who was a soccer star and now he's trying to be a basketball star this is my latest book so I'm glad to see all the families here today and I hope that you guys keep reading thank you My name is Sabrina Clayton. I'm the author of My Cartoon Imagination at School. It is about a little girl who has a vivid imagination. She was nervous about giving a report in school, and her mother just gave her the idea to imagine everybody as little cartoon animals. And that really helped her get through. I, I do events to some of the schools and local events in and, and Palm Beach and Broward. And it, it just helped the kids reach into their imagination. And you know, you see the little stuffed animals, I give that away with each book and let the kids tell me what type of animal they'd like to be if they had to imagine. And they do that and they interact. So I like to tap into their imagination and I'm happy to be here at the St. Lucie Reading Festival and participating in my second year in a row. And I look forward to continuing participating each year. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Lois McGuire and I'm the author of Don't Be That Kid at School, a character education book. Each scene depicts a different character trait. Honesty, integrity, cooperation, respecting others' space, learning responsibility. Throughout the book, the kid misbehaves, then ultimately learns his lesson. Also wrote a resource guide filled with activities for parents and teachers to teach honesty, cooperation, integrity, kindness. Thank you.